This problem says that a boat can travel 9 miles upstream in the same amount of time it takes to travel 11 miles downstream. If the current of the river is 3 miles per hour, complete the chart below and use it to find the speed of the boat in still water. Well, we're going to do our own chart, but that does indicate that these kinds of problems are best used with a chart or a table. Um, these, are, these are sometimes known as motion problems. Right? As soon as you see a boat going upstream and downstream, you know that it's going to use this equation. Rate times time equals distance. Okay, we call these motion problems. Motion problems. They seem completely intractable unless you're willing to use a table. Honestly, with these, use the table, just get it done. They're really quite challenging to do without the table. So here's a table. All right, across the top we have rate times time equals distance. Okay, that comes from this equation over here. And then we'll say, okay, so they're going upstream. So we'll say upstream here and downstream here. Right, and that's usually how it goes with these, these boat problems. Similar problems are an airplane flying um, against the wind or into the wind and then with the wind turning around and flying the other way. There's a whole class of problems that are that use the same chart. There's one basic consideration for these and it's the speed or the rate. Same thing. And the, the way this works is upstream Right, where if a boat, if you're paddling a boat against the current, you're trying to paddle it upstream, you might be going, um, you know, a certain speed, but the water is pushing back and carrying you backwards. So if you're going upstream, the speed is the boat minus the current, right? We're fighting the current here, we're go trying to go upstream. When we turn around and go downstream, okay, now the current is at our back, so it's pushing us along. And then in that current, we're paddling and going even faster. So downstream, it's always boat plus current. Okay, and this fact here works for all these problems with the boat and the current, or the plane and the wind, right? It's always the vessel minus the current, and the vessel plus the current for upstream and downstream. That's one consistent thing with all these problems. Okay, so let's take a look at this one again. So upstream, we have the rate is the, the speed of the boat minus the current. Well, let's figure out which variable is the unknown. Let's see, go to the last sentence. That'll tell you which one is the unknown. Find the speed of the boat in still water. So the speed of the boat is the unknown. We'll call that x. So that means we don't know what the speed of the boat is. So then they will give us the speed of the current, and here it is right here. If the current of the river is three miles per hour, that's the current. Okay, so, so then upstream we have boat minus current, so the rate here is x minus three. We decided the current was three miles per hour. Downstream, x plus three. Okay, it's a lot, it's a lot to take on, but all these problems work the same. So once you get the methods for one of them, you kind of get it for all of them. So it's worth it to put in this extra effort up front. All right, let's keep going. The distance, okay, the boat can travel nine miles upstream. So this is upstream, here's the distance. In the same amount of time, here's another distance. So upstream is going nine miles. In the same amount of time, it goes 11 miles downstream. Okay, one other thing about these kinds of problems is now we get to our time, right? There's no times given. Here's the trick for time in these kinds of problems. I'm going to solve this equation right here, rate times time equals distance. I'm solving it for time, so that gives us time equals distance over rate. Very important equation for these kinds of problems here. Distance over rate. Okay, so time equals distance over rate. Distance, 9 over rate, x minus 3. Same thing for this box here. We have distance, 11 over the rate, x plus 3. Now, 
in this case, it tells us, it says the same amount of time, same amount of time, we take the two times, set them equal to each other, and then this gives us the equation that we pull out and use to solve. This gives 9 over x minus 3 equals 11 over x plus 3. All right, cross multiply. Anytime you have a proportion like this, you cross multiply up. So we have 9 times the quantity x plus 3 equals 11 times the quantity x minus 3. Okay, now we'll distribute the 9, distribute the 11. So 9x plus 27 equals 11x minus 33. Uh, let's take all the x's over to the left-hand side. So I'm subtracting 11x to get negative 2x. I'm subtracting 27 from both sides to get negative 33 minus 27 is negative 60, which finally gives us x equals 30. Okay, 30 what? What, are we, what have we solved for? Well, x is the speed of the boat. Okay, the speed of the boat in still water, and we're doing everything in miles an hour, so it's 30 miles per hour. And remember, this is the speed of the boat in still water. Okay, 30 miles per hour. 